Hi there, students. Cloister. Okay, cloister can either be a noun or a verb. Um, the basic meaning of a cloister is like a, a covered walk with columns running along one side. So it's covered and then there are columns going down one side, normally going to an inner patio. It normally runs along the wall of a building. Yeah, It's part of a quadrangle. If so, Very often a monastery, there will be room, it will be in a square, and there are rooms all the way round, and then there's a roof, and then there are a set of columns. That walk, where you can walk outside but covered, is a cloister, sort of arcade if you like. But very often we use this word cloister as a verb to cloister, meaning to separate, to protect, to isolate. That, that is because the monks in a monastery, where you'll normally find a cloister, are separated very often from society. Yeah, may, they don't have a lot of interaction with people. So, for example, um, the child led a very cloistered life because the parents never let her out. They never let her go and play with other children. Or maybe people who are, who are being protected uh, from uh, COVID because they're at risk. At the moment, they are cloistered. They are separated off so that they don't have contact with, with the world and then they don't get ill. Okay, so to cloister, um, to shut away from the world, yeah, uh, to cl close off, um, Let's see, my chickens live a pretty cloistered life because there are lots of predators out there, the foxes and the birds of prey. So they're cloistered in, in an area where they can live. They're separated off. Yeah? And this is the idea of to cloister. I would say to cloister, to seclude, to separate. Yeah? To separate off. Um, Okay, so to put into seclusion as well. Um, because uh, if people are cloistered, then they don't have a real view of the world. Yeah, they are. Uh, they don't really know what's going on in the real world because they are secluded. The scientist cloistered himself in the laboratory for weeks, uh, making. Uh, uh, doing experiments. Um, I think maybe the people in power, the our politicians, they live in their own group and in many ways I think they are cloistered from the reality of society. So notice to cloister, a regular verb, um, normally in the passive as well. Um, he was cloistered. So, that, yeah, I cloistered my chickens. I have cloistered uh, my child all her life and uh, I think that's not good for her. Um, so, next question. What about formality? I would probably give this a six in formality. It sounds ever so slightly uh, literary, but I think you could probably use it in an informal conversation. Although I might use the word to seclude, to protect, to separate, something like that. Okay, and then as to origin, well, it comes to English from Latin uh, through French. In Latin you have claustrum, which is a part of a monastery which is closed to non-religious people. And that in itself is the past participle of the Latin verb claudere, to close. Yeah, so it's a closed in place. So, a cloister, this covered walk around the inside, particularly of a monastery, and then to cloister, to separate off, to protect, to isolate. So, there you go, to isolate from worldly things. I have a feeling if you're watching YouTube, you don't live such a cloistered life.
If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Cloister.